What's going on everybody? Jake Adams here for another live stream from Reef Palooza in Orlando. Um, starting the live stream just a few minutes early so that people can catch up and uh, just kind of going to give you a rundown of what happened yesterday before we get started and I show you um, a little bit more of what this reef show has to offer. Um, so if you're just tuning in, uh, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the no notification bell so you can make sure to uh, be updated anytime we have some new uploads um, about reef aquarium topics and the aquarium trade and especially events. Um, so yesterday when I did my live stream, um, I had just gotten here and I didn't have that much, uh, that many things that I had seen already um, at the show. So um, yesterday I spent a lot of time walking around uh, checking out what was uh, what was cool and interesting to see here at RAP, and um, but now I've got a much better feel, and um, I've got a l much longer list of things that I want to show you uh, here at the show. I'm gonna focus on um, displays, uh, products, and uh, you know just kind of things that really grab my attention. So there's a couple of really cool, neat, rare fish, um, but the corals I'm gonna be saving that uh, for a separate video. Uh, probably uploaded here in the next few days. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to tell you? Thank you to everybody for tuning in. Um, if you didn't see yesterday's live stream, uh, definitely consider uh, checking out the video from yesterday because we go over, let's see, what was there? Some crazy live rock from Marco Rocks, a robotic uh, aquarium water tester from Reef Box. Uh, a super rare holy grail angelfish from ACI Aquaculture. Uh, what else did we show you? Uh, yeah, just a nice cool little rundown of the first room. And um, so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out in the second room and just show you like an eclectic mix of different uh, displays, products, displays and products and things like that. So, um, so yeah, let's get started. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe so you don't ever miss any videos. What's going on, man? We got a little cameo. What's your name? I do Dave Boston. What up, man? You got any shout outs? Um, no, just, just to my wife and thank you for letting me spend so much money on one thing. That's it. I love right, the videos, man. Have a good one. I'm gonna get going. You guys ready to get started? I'm ready to show you what is up. So, um, hopefully the video the image quality and audio quality is really good for you guys. I'm gonna start over here at the Ellos booth. Just because it's shiny, you know, we got some pretty shiny, beautiful, beautiful reef stuff. So this is a really great place to start here with the Ellos tanks, those chamfered edges. You can just see how the light gleams off of it like a diamond. Really, really beautiful. These finely crafted lights from Italy. These are LED lights. And I believe this one, no, I'm just going to leave that. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that. So here's some eye candy from Ellos. If you're not familiar with Ellos. This is definitely like an aspirational brand from Italy. They've got uh, some really shiny stuff. Here you can see an example of one of their larger aquariums. And um, one of the ways that you can tell it's uh, high clarity glass is you can see through the edge of it. The camera probably can't pick it up, but um, when you fill this with water, man, it is so crystal clear. So here's the, the Ellos display. You can just see how clean, how clean this entire setup is. Really, really nice. All right. So the next, the next display I want to show you is uh, a little bit wacky, and this is not something that uh, I don't know is necessarily going to inspire everybody to uh, to do something like it. But it's just really, really creative, and. Um, you know, we've seen so many different glass boxes filled with corals. I uh, figured this was a really, really cool uh, different style of display. So check this out. The reef rock is stacked all the way up to the top. It makes like a cool little island theme. And you can see it's got, a, I guess, some models. Some model palm trees here. Right here. And uh, can you make the light a little bit wider? And what's really cool, you've got this cloud here. Now imagine right now, this is like in a showroom um, environment. And so there's a lot of extra light, but if the, all the, the only light was coming from this cloud right here, oh, puffy cloud, puffy cloud. This would be like such a, a really, really cool mood lighting environment. There we go. 
So this is a, the Reef Star booth. And he's got a, you have two Kessels stuck up in there? Two 360s. Two 360s in there, shining through the cloud. Very, very neat. I'm not saying everybody should, uh, should go home and try to replicate this, but you know, maybe it'll spark somebody else's uh, creative interest to do something like it. Very neat. Do you have a name for this work of art, Jason? Uh, we've been calling it The Village. The, the village. village. Hey, village that's thing. good. You need some little people. You need some little people They're walking around. Fishing. They're all out fishing. They're out diving on the reef. Very cool. But you can see this is a second room on Sunday, and uh, I have to wiggle around just to get around. All right, so definitely want to stop by my boys here at Worldwide Corals. We've got Chris. What's up, Chris? What's up, yeah, How's it going, buddy? How you doing? How's the show going for you? All right, going good, always, always. You slinging always corals? Packed. Absolutely, always. You pick up Another any deals. corals? Have, we did pick up a few. You got a few. Got a few. Very cool. All right, I'm going to slap my yellow filter on here and give this tank a little overview. All right, sorry about that, you guys. I think the second room just had really uh, much poor reception. And so when I got in there, it just started getting super blurry and uh, choppy. So I guess we'll just skip ahead to some, uh, some other rooms and some other things I wanted to show you. What is next? All right, so um, sorry I didn't get to show you the Worldwide Corals booth live, but I will take some more video clips and um, put together a video of their corals and some other people's corals um, and upload that in high definition so you can see every single polyp every single color all the imaginary ones and um, yeah so let's go in the main room hopefully we'll have some better reception in here and it won't be blurry and it won't be yellow there we go I think this is a little bit better there we go I think we're doing okay all right so what's on my list here okay I want to show you um, some really psycho fish this is hands down my first second and third favorite wrasses of all time there's not even like a close second what's up little buddy what's your name man here andy got any shout outs put you on the spot just myself myself have you been to reef before yeah no yeah no did you hear that very cool what size tank you got i just got 30 gallon brackish i'm a huge fan for salt water all right man cool we'll take your time you know learn a lot and um Nothing, nothing good happens fast in a reef tank, so nice to meet you, buddy. We'll talk to you again soon. All right, cool. It's always cool. Jake, what's up, buddy? Not much, man. How you doing? Your smile's a little bit too big for early in the day. That's me, man. They don't call me smiling for a reason. All right. Hey, what's up, man? Are you Jake? Just trying to do a live stream here. I can't get to the Lenardis, but I'll, I'll meet you at your booth later. All right. Okay, we got through that. Hopefully the live stream is going. Hopefully you guys can see some stuff. Let me scoot on over to these Lenardi wrasses um, because they're totally my favorite. And um, this, this tank, you can really, really see uh, what they look like. So here we go. There we go. So this is one of my favorite fishes. Only comes from Western Australia. And when they're small, they just look like a random uh, macropharyngodon wrasse with uh, kind of black and whitish stripes. Um, but as they get larger, they get more yellow and blue striped. Um, and as you can see, they're really, really expensive because not only do they come from Australia, they also come from the west coast of Australia. So uh, yeah, these fish are really, really cool. They'll also get kind of big. They're related to uh, feminine wrasses. Um, so yeah, they're, they're definitely delicate, um, a little bit harder to take care of, but they're so incredibly Gorgeous. There's no yellow filter on here. There's, you know, kind of bluish light here from this Akamai LED lights. But um, these fish look amazing in real life. I think there was like tan in here at the start of the show. And um, just for comparison, you can see uh, how big these fish are. And they'll get a lot bigger. Really, really cool. This is one of my super favorites. So this is a really interesting display. And until I point it out, you're not gonna notice um, what is special about this reef tank. It's an Ecotech marine tank. You can see it's got two radions. Now, if you, that was Leonard I wrestling, yeah. And um, can you see the difference between the left side and the right side? So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a close up here. 
This is uh, the left side of the tank, and there's just one little thing different about the left side to the right side. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I think you can kind of see the difference now. So the difference between these two uh, lights, they're both radions, but on the left side, you have the diffuser, and you can see that, uh, there you go, that was the shimmer. Yeah, so the, the diffuser just kind of softens uh, the lighting all over the tank. Um, but some people do prefer having a little bit more shimmer. So these are the native um, LED lens clusters for the Radions without uh, the diffuser kit. So you can see this is the regular thickness right here of the uh, Ecotech Marine Radion. And with the diffuser, it just adds a little bit of thickness. Um, but it, if you don't like that super strong shimmer, um, the diffuser uh, kit will definitely uh, diffuse that light a little bit for you and um, also just kind of give it a light, that softer look with uh, a little bit more like T5s. So if you hadn't seen that before, definitely uh, Google some videos. There's a bunch of different comparisons of the Radions with and without the diffuser kit. What is next? All right, here's one of my favorite, favorite things um, in the Reef Aquarium hobby right now. A good look at the entire show. But uh, one booth that I always have to stop by is uh, magnets, 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 magnets. Uh, give this video a like if you have any magnets used in your tank right now to uh, hold up uh, corals because it's like adding an addition to your house. If you have a small house, you add a little deck or you add a, um, a patio or something. Um, it's kind of like adding an addition to your room. So these right here, these magnetic frag racks, are like adding an addition to your tank. And it uh, looks like the small ones are mostly sold and they start just kind of, you know, kind of rough, um, you know, kind of gnarly, kind of like reef stuff. But then they go all the way up to these basically frag racks. And this is what I've been gravitating towards uh, using on my tanks just to pack even more corals on there. Can you show me the one that you have that has like a replaceable magnet? Oh, okay, cool. Just pull the magnets out. So in the past, these were sealed inside. So when your corals like uh, grew over all the things, it was really hard to kind of salvage that magnet. So when these get <laughs> completely grown over, um, now you can actually pull the magnet out and uh, just cut it up if you need to. If like, you know, it gets really encrusted with corals. Press this back in. And it's strong enough to hold between the glass, it won't come out. And if it does wiggle loose, just push it back in. Both magnets are exactly the same. Very nice. So they're interchangeable. And then you got some some black ones too. I really like these. I don't like stark white anything in my reef tank. Even the, the frag plugs. I've been shifting away, completely away from the white frag plugs. This uses a stronger magnet. To purple and blacks. So the blacks is a little bit stronger magnet series? Yes. Okay, very cool. Blacks are rated to three quarter and the naturals are rated to three eighths. Very cool. And you can see, you know, some of these large frag racks are, this is like a big chunk of rock, but it's actually ceramic and it'll last virtually forever, right? Yep. Very cool. So yeah. As long as you keep it wet. Yeah. We'll have no problems with yeah so 100 bucks not too bad for these large large frag racks you can see it that's about size of my hand but you can get smaller ones down to 50 and almost 30 dollars i know it's it's not the cheapest thing in the world but they're gonna last a long time and uh make sure your frags don't fall all over the place so smaller the, versions so this one is how much 35 so yeah this is 35 and 30 yeah 30 dollars. so if you have a nano tank you can add little additions uh, for real estate uh, to your aquarium. I have to pick some of these up like every single show. These are his. I am going to swing back around and pick those up. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Appreciate it. All right. I hope you guys enjoy that. Let's see what is next on the list. Oh, man, I got something completely uh, off the wall to show you next. Just because it looks so cool. I'm not super big into jellyfish. Like, I don't want to keep jellyfish, but I do appreciate jellyfish in other people's tanks and uh, so this is a jellyfish art tank uh booth and i know we've seen like a lot of different kits from different companies and something about the cylinder tank doesn't really speak to me uh head on they change the lighting but when you turn around and you see the magnification of the jellyfish and you can see them swimming through this right here for me is like magic they're super duper cool these are moon jellies and i think you just feed them uh uh, baby brine shrimp. Yeah, I think you can see a little bit of baby brine floating inside. Very neat. They come in a, a white and a black. Very, very cool. Yeah, so I don't know why. These uh, these haven't really spoken to me in the past. 
But at this show, it really caught my attention, especially when you check them out from the side. It just turns into just a magical magnifying glass for these jellyfish. Super freaking cool. All right, so let me give you just one last overview of the entire show. And I want to take you and to see some more really interesting captive breadfish. Hey, thanks to everybody for tuning in. Sorry about um, some of the connection issues in room two. Um, you know, doing these live streams is always just like a little bit hairy and you never know what to expect. Um, but I'm not the only one live streaming. We had a live stream yesterday. We had more people, uh, other people live streaming. So if you want to get some, uh, some different angles, uh, make sure to search YouTube for live streams from Reefalooza, videos from Reefalooza Orlando 2018. Um, what's going on, buddy? Because um, there's a lot of people who have, who, who've, who've been, uh, I guess, attracted to completely different things. So when you watch a variety of these videos, you'll be able to, uh, to see this show from a lot of different angles. All right, I'm going to show you Dirk's place because it's always cool to stop by Dirk's. This is a fish store that has really reef-centric stuff. Um, it's always a really cool place to shop. Uh, Dirk is uh, the one man traveling the reef aquarium store, all the kinds of dry goods that you could ever want. I actually have to stop by here afterwards, look for some basic filters or some probes. Say hi, Dirk. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's not a reef show without Dirk's Reef here because uh, you know this is where you stock up on all the randomest uh, reef aquarium stuff. Let's see if we can get around. It's so crowded here. All right, all right. One last little gem I want to show you guys. Got to get, got to get some, uh, some captive bred fishes here in the house. All right, so we're coming up on the Poma Labs booth, and um, for those of you that have kept up with the channel, uh, you know that this is the place where they've been breeding uh, really, really cool angel fishes. And um, so there's the uh, multi-thousand-dollar conspicuous captive bred conspicuous angel fish. These are almost virtually impossible to get. Uh, even wild, so seeing so many tiny uh, baby conspic angels is really, really a treat. But we first saw those at MACNA, so it's been about eight or nine months um, since the news of those came out. And you can see he's got uh, a school of captive bred Singapore angelfish. But the new announcement for the show are these captive bred Bellis angelfish. Now what's really cool about these is they're slightly aberrant, so their stripes have kind of broken up into a really unique and original pattern. They, I don't think they'll cost too much, you know, but Bellis angelfish are definitely um, some of the prettiest of all the swallowtail angelfish. And as they get larger, um, they'll look totally, totally different. Very, very cool. Very nice. So I hope you like captive bred angelfish. And I'm going to wrap this up uh, probably out in the hall. Okay. So thanks to everybody for tuning in. I know that there's a lot of coral here. I wanna show you as much as possible, but in the live stream environment, it just doesn't work for me. I've been taking all kinds of clips. So if you wanna see the coral, I, I saw them in the comments. I saw your comments on this live stream. Um, definitely be sure to subscribe, hit that notification button, uh, because in the coming week, I will definitely put out at least one video uh, showing off all the corals, but it won't be live. It will be, you know, really well edited. it will be in high definition, and there's gonna be nothing but eye candy. So I wanna thank everybody for tuning in to this live stream. Um, it's been really, really fun here at Reef Palooza. We still have most of the day to go, but um, definitely, again, I'm gonna say one more time, check out other people's live streams because you'll get so many different views and different angles on the show. And uh, if you're looking for those corals, just tune in in a few more days. I promise I'm gonna get some, some juicy, juicy eye candy from Reef Palooza. So uh, thanks you guys for tuning in. Um, it's been really, really great to meet so many of you here at the show. And uh, hopefully I can meet some of you guys in person at Reef Palooza and other events in the future. So uh, until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.